<laughs> what a segue. What a that segue. No, you saw everyone is here, so. Yes, go for it. In our last episode, the party, after making very detailed plans to rob a casino, found that the auction had instead been moved to one of uh, Babyface Barazzetti's other business ventures, a place known as the Sugar Plantation. Uh, after both the player characters and the players themselves realized how not mature they were, <laughs> a, a, a heist plan was executed um, in which a couple of party members tried to go and buy the item in question and did not succeed. However, they did make it out with the man who did buy it. Um... After certain words and certain bullets were exchanged. Mm -hmm. Many mm -hmm. bullets were exchanged. And also some blows. Yes. Uh, Uncle Zhang went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Meat Hooks Malone and Johnny caged him. Like, dropping, punching him in the balls, like, full-on Johnny Cage. Mm -hmm. And Oliver just, you know did the whole Sean Connery thing. If you can't do it with one bullet, don't do it at all. As McCoy is spraying with a Tommy gun and Oliver just steps out of the door and bang, drops the guy. Uh -huh. You guys are now in the car, speeding away. Uh, this... This man who's sitting there, he's in a suit, he is clutching his satchel, which contains the Bertel sextant, as he's looking around noticing a, a woman, a Chinaman, and a guy with one arm, and he turns to Don, he says, You're not really from the Bureau, are you? In a manner of speaking, we're all on the same side. Just relax, we're going to get you out of here. Make a... I'm going to call this a diplomacy check. <laughs> Can right, any of us assist them? Pawn check. That's the bullshit test. Yeah. Yeah. Can any of us assist them with diplomacy? Because if anyone has diplomacy, I have had a four. So. I have empathy, so I, I I know how upset he is, but I can't do much about it. <laughs> yes, you may give him two two bonus dice if you have it at a four. I'm in the front seat. I'm not making this roll. <laughs> so you do get a bonus. Uh... I do. So that's a uh, he seems somewhat reassured. At least as reassured as a guy can be in a car with complete strangers speeding away from explosions and gunfire. And, and, and a few of us have uh, weapons that look awfully hot. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as we're kind of making our escape... Um, know when a good time to talk would be so i think don's just kind of like silent for a little bit um who's driving right now i would assume that mccoy is driving. yeah i would suggest um that why don't we um take the turns towards the airport i'm sure you know where that's at having come from there why do you guys have all your stuff i don't leave anything i didn't need so yeah yeah i mean it is it is a, a wise approach to traveling. So what I'm hearing is we can go straight to the bureau office in San Francisco. We got to get to the airport first, Ben. You... Uh, yeah, I I kind of look over at Don and mouth bureau. Can I pre I presume that he's like. FBI or something, or CIA more likely, right? So, in our last episode, you had gotten a look at the list of bidders for the auction, and you succeeded on your academics check, so you realized that this individual, the name he was using, Samuel Culpepper, is a reference to the Culper Ring, which was Washington's very first spy ring. You went out on a limb and said, we're from Washington, and that's what got him to trust you. He is trusting you less by the minute as he realizes that we're not... <laughs> we certainly don't look like bureau material. <laughs> I mean, I look more like an armoire, and and Cassidy and, and uh, you know Tiffany over there looks more like a you know like a lampshade. But 
Definitely not bureau mm -hmm. material. Yeah. I'm, I'm probably too dirty to be a lampshade, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, you've just lit a bunch of tires. Don is going to kind of, yeah, he's going to say that we, we got to get to the airport first, and then he's going to look at Culpepper and say, can we see it? He's clutching it very tightly to his chest. He doesn't... I'm going to need to know a lot more about you before I show you anything. Uh, right, right. Um, my name is Bridger. Don Bridger. He, he takes your hand. And, and who do you work for? <laughs> Not to the I enemy. <laughs> I don't think he has clearance. <laughs> you don't have clearance, citizen. Right. You're not level seven. I need to get to the FBI office in San Francisco. That may, can be may arranged. I, may I? Yeah. May I ask why? What is the? Uh, what is the? Uh, your interest in the item? Gonna need another persuasion check to get him to dispel. Another diplomacy check. Oh, me or? Uh, well, you're the one who talking. Okay, but if yeah, somebody I do not have people, diplomacy, so well, if you don't have it, then someone else can do it. Right. Oh. I mean, Don's next to the guy. Is it feasible for me to take the role for him? Sure, and you can take a plus two if someone's helping you. Presumably, at least one person yeah. in the car has. Yeah, I do. I, like I said, we. <laughs> You're just from the front seat. Tell us all you know. Um, that's five, with the plus two included. He, he looks at you. Again, he's holding this satchel to him like it's a baby. I'm, well, I'm with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the. The Office of Supernatural Investigations. Oh, we met the Britain, the Britain section of that. Uh, uh, yes, yes, um, the Ministry. Well, here's the thing. I was going through some records that they had sent over. Things that had been smuggled out of Britain during the Revolution by... Um, we, we refer to them as the Darnay as the Darnay files. And one of them makes reference to well you're not going to believe this, but it makes reference to Cardinal Richelieu having his personal architect and inventor construct uh, a device for him. And you're thinking that this artifact is having to do with that device? To an extent. This device, it had to be built in a very specific location. This, I believe this sextant would help find that location. I think it's going to be best if we end up working together because we're, we're all on the same side here. We work for a top secret U.S. organization. Trust me when I say that when we go to other countries, these people are very uncomfortable. We're happy you're American. <laughs> yes, well, I certainly couldn't allow this to fall into the hands of the Germans. I'm not entirely sure what the device does, but... Oh, let me try. Well... I know what this device, I mean, the, the actual device, the, the one that was being built. But from what the, from what the files say, it's, it's, well, they give it a most unsettling name. What's the name? It's referred to as the La Porte de l'Enfer. This is when we all go and look it up. <laughs> we go to hell. <laughs> yeah, really. The doorway to the underworld. Okay. Mm -hmm. That sounds familiar. 
I think we've run across stuff indicating something of that name before. I'm trying to remember uh, yeah. what it is. If you actually look up Porte de l'Enfer, it's actually a a sculpture of this like massive rendition of the Gates of Hell from Dante's Inferno. Mm. Uh, mm. By Rodin, but that's. Uh, do you happen to know where this artifact was constructed? Again, I believe that this. This device, the Bertel Sextant, will help me find where it was constructed. Based on, our, based on my research, it had to have been built at an intersection of ley lines, and I, I won't take this the time to explain how those work. But I believe this would help find such an intersection point, and if we were to... There can't be that many of them in France, so we might be able to locate where the device was built. Would Dawn know how, like, is it fine for us to say, to, like, tell the uh, someone from like, the FBI what age Aegis is? Or would they, um, like, how top secret are we supposed to be keeping it at that? It's a, I, I, I was just going to ask that. Is, what is the Aegis's relationship exactly. with government agencies such as the FBI? So when Aegis was first created, I mean, Teddy Roosevelt was one of its founding fathers. Since then, it's much more private sector based. There are some in the FBI, like Hoover definitely knows Aegis exists. I mean, Hoover has bribed and blackmailed the right people. He knows what he knows pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. um, as far as disclosing it, like, I it's guess. Generally, it's generally frowned upon, but if it's in the right circumstances, you'd be forgiven. Like, if there was someone who you absolutely had to bring in, like, that would be a, you would be. Mm -hmm. So Don's thinking, like, we need to have kind of like a, become like liaison with them to try to work together on this project, because if they have a bunch of information, like at the next checkpoint in France with the Darnay files or something, and we can get access to it through them, Don would be wanting to kind of get in on that, so. I think we should make a call once we get to the airport. And maybe you could even check in your medical bag something that might help. That I can make up, him some tea? That, that we picked up recently. Oh, that would help, but <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going to do that or not. <laughs> you know, reaching to the bag. Excuse me, good sir. Could you tell me if this rag smells like chloroform tea? <laughs> Does this smell funny? Yeah. The Quagmire pickup line. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This smell like you, see, you, you, know? see, you see the driver put on a gas mask. That's the you know it's a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, we really must get to, to the FBI office in San Francisco. I. I, I I, I have to make a report. There is something going on. I don't know if you know this, but some of the people in that auction were German agents. Yeah, we oh, know they're the Nazis. Really? There's also part of the Fata Morgana. Oh! I don't know who that is. Um, is that... You don't have clearance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that some? Is that Arabic? I there was an Arab that I saw following oh, me. No. Um, there, listen, are, Sam. there are as many there are forces at work to, of which you are not aware of, uh, Mr. Bureau Agent. You, uh, Sorry, Sam. what is your name, by is the way? Samuel, right? Samuel okay. Pepper is fine for now. Um, listen, I think you're gonna your report's gonna make a lot more sense if we do a report together. Let's get to the airport. We'll both make some calls, and then we can kind of figure out the next step. But I think this is something we should be working together on. We've got some information. You've got some information. If we put our heads together, we can solve this a lot quicker. Children. All right, fine. But you can come with me to the bureau office in San Francisco, and we'll work from there. Two scissors, if you need. My question. I, I, you know, go ahead. Go ahead. 
Does your bureau have um, any information on a ring? A spy ring. A translator ring. Translator ring. You mean like something that kids send away for when they hear about it on the radio? Never mind. Like Dakota ring. You never mind. I I I I would make you aware, Mister Bureau Agent, that you are inside the car by yourself, surrounded by a number of people who, while are definitely uh, working for towards you know. Uh, justice and such that, that are, are well outnumber you so perhaps a uh, truly wise choice would be to listen and uh, cooperate make an intimidation check which I do not have but um, I'm just spill it Bob <laughs> I, I, I can intimidate from the do you want <laughs> you can I don't maybe, I don't think he knows what I'm talking about. I'll roll. Can I yeah. roll just an empathy, just to see if if sure. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. Uh, three. I'm just talking here. Yeah, you yeah. get the like, this guy doesn't know as much as we do. Do right. Yeah. Man, you 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 obviously. Yeah. I find him pr practically useless, except for the fact that he holds something relatively useful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that you we, really, really want. We, we have we have no desire to cause you injury, good sir. But you have to understand, we uh, we have a need to investigate this device. And while we have no, we can certainly assure you that we bear no ill will towards the United States. Um, you know, we are part of it too, although perhaps not many tend to agree. Uh, there is, you know, there is the fact that we, we do have sort of the strength of numbers in terms of. Uh... I think I think what he's trying to say, if I may, Uncle Shane, is mm -hmm. we need to look at the artifact and we're not trying to like bully you around, but please hand over the artifact. <laughs> we can take it if we want, but we'd rather be. Work together. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's please, a long walk please, back to please, Vegas. Please, or... <laughs> your, your, your barbarian language is sometimes difficult for me to express my, uh, my myself properly. But yes, what, what my colleagues have said. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's comical that he doesn't even know what he's holding. Very ironic. Yeah. yeah. All he knows is what he's been told. So, so bottom line is this: Does does he play hard to get, or does he uh, does he acknowledge his precarious did he, position? Did he learn to share? He's does he he, is, <laughs> he, is he reaches into his he reaches into his satchel, opens it, and he he takes out the device. He doesn't hand it over, but he takes it out. I wish I was in the back seat right now. <laughs> um. I just have that image. All right, you're not driving, right? So you're no, probably yeah. sitting with you're your knees on the around. chair, looking back. Yeah. You know, yeah. like peeking over the back of the of the chair with this middle. look like a kid seeing the window at, during Christmas. They're just looking through a store window at Christmas. Mm. Yeah, can I roll a perception? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, was that a yes? Yeah. You can okay, cool. Perception. Sweet. I'm I'm totally probably if this was D and D it would be with disadvantage but you know. So I'm assuming I believe it was McCoy who was driving the car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So you've seen the sextant before. This is in you have perfect recall, so you know this is the real deal. Um, one thing that is very clear now: the compass does not point north. It is spinning wildly. Wildly, or is it holding the direction as we turn? No, it is. It is moving somewhat erratically. Like it would, it'll point to one direction, and then point to another. Um, 
Oh. Like, it seems it's... to be trying to point... It's as if it has two different bearings for north, and it's switching between them. Right. Oh, probably needs to be brought to a, a specific place to where it will settle and then tell the right thing. It's the key. It's like a key to a map. Yes. It also has the symbols on it, too, that we don't understand, correct? Right. Oh, we need that ring. And Mr. Culpepper. He reaches into his bag, because when he pulled out the sextant, he noticed something else. He pulls out a gold coin. I don't even know what this is. Did they give it to you with the the order? No. It's, It's... Uh, you... If somebody wants, if somebody is, yeah, it's a very ancient looking coin. It's. Mm-hmm. Can I roll on it? Uh, if somebody would want to have academics history, probably. Uh, I've got just academics, academics only. Uh, it's not yeah, specific. I mean, academics religion. Uh, if you have academics that isn't history, you can do it at a negative two. Yeah, it wouldn't be worth it. I'll try. Yeah, that's a one. Wait, you have just general academics? Like, you have the well-educated or whatever? Mm. And you don't have the data maker, too. I don't know if I have a specific one. I don't think I do. It was just generally educated. Well, academics is such a life skill, yeah. so... You look at your character sheet. Yeah, it's not noted on the character sheet in my hard copy one. The talents are skilled assistant and well-connected, so... Yeah, your academics, it would need to... It needs to be a subcategory, right? Yeah. It would have... What are the categories? If you happen to have those, I don't think... It's in it's a handout. Hold on. Player handouts. Because I know which academics. one I was thinking. Uh, history, law, literature, it philosophy, was, and um, religion. It was law. Okay. That's the one so, that yeah. you went. It is... He's aspiring to be like Adam. You're not sure what, You're not sure what this coin is, then. Yeah. Where's the car going right now? To the airport. Also, McCoy, I would be warned that they probably had phones and we might be able to expect somebody at the airport, so tread carefully. Not my first uh, getaway. uh, (laughs) I I trust you completely. (laughs) Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> you guys, don't, you guys arrive, at, and it's not really an airport so much as it's an airstrip. It like, yeah, it's a place McCoy used to fly into when he was the good old days, when he was, you know, running things that couldn't be run through normal. That that, that 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 uh, Hoover and his G-men were looking for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> back in the back when in the good old days. When McCoy was just a good old boy, never meaning no harm. Mm-hmm. That's what we say. Yes, uh, beats all you ever saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day he was born. So yes, I'm picturing it's this like Wild West era ghost town with just like an airstrip. It used to be the main the main street. Yep. There's a, a single radio tower, and again, it's, it's looks like an old West town, like a one street. Like that first, just little town you find in Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> well, you definitely know how to... Yeah. You definitely know how to pick an airport that probably doesn't have a phone. <clears throat> so, um, so we arrived. Mm-hmm. The plane is there. I mean, it's... You know, mm-hmm. so it's been basically hauled into place, so it's ready for takeoff. Right. Can I do a perception check to see if there's anything on, uh, like, I wasn't here when they landed, but I just want to do a quick sure. look around. Is there anyone hiding? Are we good to go? Yeah, yeah. It's. It, are we walking into an ambush? <laughs> Yes. Yes? No, I'm just, I'm just mad. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Are we walking into an ambush? Have you met me? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I asked. 
Um, yeah, everything seems... I mean, everything seems a little off, but in kind of the way you would expect from a Wild West town that's been converted into an airstrip for smugglers. Well, everything seems, well, as above the radar as it can, but I wasn't here earlier, so I'm not sure. I presume our plane is just, like, open to viewing, like it's just there, parked? Yeah. You know, okay. it's it's in takeoff cool. position. Mm-hmm. Fueled up and ready to go. Well, just take us right in. Um, it's not... It's not necessarily like basically it landed. They, you know, use their whatever to tow it into place so it's ready to go. And they're kind of in the, you know, now that you pulled up, someone comes up, he's, you see that he's packing in a shoulder holster. To be expected. Mm -hmm. Well, Slim, you're uh, back sooner than we expected. Well, you know me, uh, things get a little, little hot, uh, and let's just say that, you know. You know the rules, McCoy. Whatever you do, you don't bring the law down on this town. Oh, trust me, it's not the law that... <laughs> that we're in trouble with. That we're... That... <laughs> well, mm -hmm. you might as well come in for a... Might as well come in for a drink. We're uh, getting your, we're getting your plane ready to go. I'm gonna roll empathy. Okay. Because I'm, I'm thinking that guy is lying. Now, hold on, there it is. Yeah, I mean the plane looks like it's ready to go, right? Ah, uh, no, I do not know. I I know nothing about these these. Uh, these so, western so dogs you know, they all story. lie Every, they all lie all the time would it be there fine if no I rolled empathy in their as well because I kind of love this plane and they sure. better not have done anything untoward towards it <laughs> <laughs> they touched your plane <laughs> oh god see the dice parts are obviously the dice roller obviously loves you it, you it just loves that I have like a plus seven, or a, sorry, no. I have a six in this, sorry. Demolition's yeah. a seven. Well, I have a five, so it's not like, yeah. not, you know, mm. it's just, you know, the dice roller doesn't like me. So. All right, so, so, does Tiffany catch a lie? Um, it appears that he is telling the truth. Mm, okay. Good. My beautiful plane. <laughs> well, <laughs> not that it's mine. You come in, sit a spell, have a drink, we'll get your plane fueled up and... So we'll, what it, uh, we'll, we'll usher Culpepper. Yeah, along. I want to try to convey to him that like we're we're not kidnapping him, but he has to come with yes. us. Yes, they don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, I want. I want that to be I very see. clear to him that like he's I coming think, with us. Like we're think, not kidnapping you, but we're well armed, and we're not going to let you leave. Go. Yes, exactly. It's like. I'm well, really... I mean, he's welcome to leave if he leaves the sectant behind. I mean, honestly, we're, we're I don't perfectly think willing to acknowledge he has to, he wants uh, stewardship of it, but we're not letting it out of our sight. So, just the way it goes. This harkens back to the Russians, but he died. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, he did. <laughs> Not by our hands, Trevor. <laughs> or Ollie. <laughs> I was going to say, we didn't I don't know anything about, about what you're talking about. <laughs> um, can I start getting my stuff like in the plane and, and helping them with getting the plane ready, making sure there's nothing, you know? Um, sure. If you want to, if you want to do the yeah, pre-flight right. check on the plane, you can do, yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. Make a mechanics check. Oh, sure. Gladly. Where is mechanics? There we go. Where is it? Where is it? This is why I alphabetize things. No, it's medicine. <laughs> no, oh, that was medicine? That was medicine. Well, I was thinking that was... Oh, it's probably... Uh, 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 
Okay. <laughs> Craft mechanics. It's because it's C, not M. Oh no, Durr. I'm sorry. It's science engineering. I I'm so it's, thinking okay. of the wrong game. Sorry, I have why, craft why? mechanics and I have science engineering. So. Yeah, it, it's science engineering. You're... Yeah, it was alphabetized. <laughs> Dang, sorry. Star Wars. <laughs> I'll just do everything. <laughs> yeah, you look over the plane. The plane seems to be intact. Uh, there is a. There is a. You know. A fuel line attached to it, so it appears they are in fact refueling it. Yeah, it smells like Can... aviation fluid. <laughs> fuel. I don't want to go inside to have a drink with this crony of um, McCoy, so I would like to actually just go into the plane with the FBI guy, okay. if that's possible. We're not like being all ushered in, are we? I'll definitely l help you guys get in as part of my pre-flight stuff. Yeah, I mean, they're not. He's not making you sit down for a drink. No, he's inviting. He's inviting uh, uh, Slim over. Yeah. In. So. McCoy also is going to owe him. Uh, oof. Let's see. Airplane fuel is expensive. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, like, I have no idea how much airplane fuel cost in the '30s. Some amount of money. The question is: Is it is it money that we have, or is it money we don't? Gasoline was about thirty cents a gallon, wasn't it? Like that. Yeah, that was gasoline. Yeah, and, and the, or aviation fluid or fuel would be a little bit more expensive than that. Yeah, I'm going to assume. I'm going to assume gasoline was thirty cents. We're going to double it for aviation fuel. I'm going to say around fifty dollars for aviation fuel. Yeah, I actually even have that. Uh. Well then, is this an IOU? <laughs> <laughs> oh no no no! I, I and I'll give them sixty just to say it looks like you guys took care of my plane uh, fairly well, and you know, it's like yeah, you know, give me a call if you guys you know need anything. Uh, you know, it's like I know with the current management uh, in Vegas, it's probably cause you problems uh yeah the italians have taken over all right well we'll get your plane fueled up and you can get out of here so don and tiffany are on the plane where's everyone else we also took the one um other gent onto the plane yes that, yeah cool pepper i will follow along with mccoy uh just you know, my excuse is that I, I wanted to boil some water for some tea for the trip. Um, See, I need to be loosened up for the uh, for the flight, you know. <laughs> That's right. You, the the plane minute. gets oiled, gets gas, and you get oiled. I get it. Okay, so Zhang and McCoy are in the saloon drinking whiskey and tea, respectively. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. Where's Oliver? Oliver is taking a walk around the airplane. Uh, then Oliver, I will have you make a perception check. So you see the the, the box attached to the side going tick 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 tick. That's yeah, right. why. I, that's why I did that. All right, perception. Mm -hmm. I'm throw in a style point just because I can. Just because you can. Because it might be important. You think? Or... There you go. There's your four. So being the only one who's outside, you hear the car pulling up. Oh boy. Uh, a car pulls up kind of at the edge of this town and two men get out. The first is he's wearing he's wearing a suit but he also has like a he also has like a fez he's Middle Eastern looking very dark glasses like round dark glasses. Oh boy. The other is wearing you know your standard pulp era duster trench coat and fedora and a gas mask he kind of looks like the sandman <laughs> oh god okay here we go yeah this should be fun 
So they get out of the car, out of the front seat, and two men who are your standard gun-toting goons get out of the back. Mm-hmm. And I cannot get my Western Town map working, so we're going to theater of the mind of this one. <laughs> if you come to it. Okay. Well, I, folks, we got company. For some reason, did not record the sizes that these are supposed to be, and I'm having trouble getting them to size. Biggest thing okay. we need to know is which direction is our plane facing, and if the nose gun is fixed or out of turn. Down the runway, the car is in that direction, but it's kind of off to the side. It's not like blocking the runway. Mm-hmm. Can I see this since I am getting like the plane ready? Uh, make a perception check. Mm-hmm. Okay. It does keep getting better and better. Yeah, you're you're in the cockpit, and you kind of see this out of the window. I in, I inform the people in the back that we have um, unexpected company. So can Don have been basically trying to schmooze with the uh, cold pepper and keep him uh, calm and like collected and sure. okay, and then like all of a sudden. Oh, crap, we got company. Uh, at, this point, at this point, the uh, the Middle Eastern guy is stand is he's remaining over by the car. The two goons are kind of circling around and heading into the saloon, and the guy with the trench coat and the gas mask is walking toward the plane. Oh, could I Can get I... my gas mask out just in case I need it? Sure. Can I have um, Culpepper either... Can, would I know if there's any secret compartments in Slim's plane? I cannot remember if we had there actually like, Millennium Falcon secret compartments. Um, it wasn't so much a secret compartment, but down in kind of the, the gunnery station, Tiffany had... There's a... Yeah. yeah, she has used that place as a hiding point. I have a stash. Okay. I would, I would like to <laughs> ask politely for Samuel to hide the artifact basically and, and motion towards the the ball turret. He puts it back in the satchel and he puts it where you indicate he should. Okay. Oliver, at this point the guy in the trench coat is walking very close to you. That's far enough, partner. You stop right there. He's what do you want? He turns his head to you in kind of a stiff, jerky motion. And then he turns back to the plane and keeps walking. Oh! Alright. I told him to stop. You got a warning. Oh boy. I'm going to fire on him. Alright. I'm going to have everyone roll initiative. You can have your, your free attack to kick off the combat, but let's get an initiative. Oh boy. We can't, well, first like we need characters. Yeah. Characters, yeah, uh, we don't yeah. have characters. Okay, well, let's see if this works. Mm-hmm. Actually, um, we just pull it onto this main map here, right? Just for yeah, I suppose put it. Yeah, and you could put me over there in China, and you could put uh, <laughs> McCoy over there in Ireland, and you know. Do you want me to keep my old draw or re-roll? He... Uh, re-roll. I think you guys are just all randomly on the map. I'm happy in America. Yeah. All right. I'm in the middle of the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Let's go I have no somewhere idea where else. I am. Does anybody know where I am? Um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. Okay, That's so... crap. Yeah, I can see the dice roller going to be happy with me today. Hold on. Uh, Oliver is over Jesus. in Where am I? They're oh, going to get two shots on this guy. Do you? Take Let's him do. down. Oh, oh my. my. All right. So you said I'm in. Oh, I'm okay. It looks like your token is over in China. <laughs> All right, I got a three. Okay. Give me one second. I'm trying to find the bad guys. (sighs) 
At this point, I want to um, talk to our friendly neighborhood FBI agent and say, aren't you glad you came here instead of a, you know, regular airport without backup? Mm, not particularly. <laughs> well, Moving to Madagascar. <laughs> Actually, I want to go to France because. I guess that means I'll hold the fort down here in Las Vegas. The party has discovered the party has discovered traveling by map. It's like the. Uh... <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Style point. What? I think I'm actually in Germany. Uh, sorry, let me hold alt. That'll help. Here, I'm gonna take those off. Hey, this guy. I can't find the token I wanted to use for this guy, but this is the thing he's wearing a gap mask. I'm just gonna use him for now. Alright. I deleted my token, I'm sorry. It's. <laughs> Yeah, well, do you remember what your score was? It, I was, can... it was three. Okay. I can find you if you want to I'm on my token storage page. I should have you somewhere here. I can, uh, I can fix it myself if you want. I'll just reroll and I'll modify. Well, if you deleted your token... I can drag it back on. Advance. Uh, I can do it. I'm already here. Okay. Alright. So. You guys are... Yeah, the two guys with the guns burst into the... into the bar with their shotguns. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's kind of a stick 'em up situation. Mm. But actually, first, I'm sorry, Oliver gets a free shot to kick off the combat. All right. Am I right. short range to this guy? Uh, You're within pistol range, I would assume. Okay. All right. Yeah. So here we go. You get a plus one because you're basically point blank. He's just walking by you. Okay. That's when you discover he's actually a robot. <laughs> Alright, that's a five. Okay. It's actually kind of a crappy shot for him. <laughs> um, Alright, so yeah, the guys with the shotguns move into the bar. That's all they're doing. They're not taking any shots unless you do anything to piss them off. So, Oliver has tried to shoot this guy. He immediately turns toward you. His arm extends out. A basically like picture an Assassin's Creed blade, but like much larger, emerges from the sleeve of his trench coat. And come so his arm comes right at Oliver, the blade emerging from his sleeve as it does in one motion. Oliver, roll defense. Ooh, I sort of suck. Let's see what happens. Three. Oh god, not him. <laughs> I'm actually planning to use him in a uh, Hollow Earth adventure. Who's that? That's from uh, Hellboy. Uh -oh. yeah, a clockwork German, a clockwork Nazi with the oh, blade. the guy with the um, surgery <laughs> addiction. Yes, kinda, yeah. So the the, the... yeah, I've been practicing uh, his dialogue. Okay. 
That's two for me. All right. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? All right. Next up is Oliver again. Yeah. I don't like this guy. <laughs> I don't like him one bit. Okay. And so I think it's time for another, uh, hopefully above average. Um, do I want to try a called shot? No, I just want to hit him. Center okay, mass, dude. The... Center mass. Do I do I still get the plus one? Yeah, he's still at point blank with you. Okay. As long as you're using a pistol. The six. Nice. Your shot hits him. You know, he kind of... Uh, and you notice a, an opening, and there appears to be what... You swear it looks like sand is kind of... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, dear. I want I want a Samaritan now. <laughs> Behind this door, yes. evil lives. Next up is Don. So, Don is gonna obviously hear the shots. Can I check behind McCoy's seat and see if his sawed off is still here in the bridge? Uh, McCoy, is your shotgun still on the plane? Hmm. Oh, you're muted. Jeff, you're muted. Oh, he's talking to someone else. Yes. No, it's like it's... Uh... Is your shotgun still on the plane? Let's just do a 50-50 of whether or not it was because... All right, do you want odds or evens, Adrian? Oh, I always like higher numbers, so let's go with... Uh above all right so three or four it's there one or two it's not shotgun's there okay i'll scoop it up and then i am going to kind of rush towards the entrance to kind of duck out of the plane i'm going to stop and look at samuel and say don't break anything and then i'm gonna <laughs> jump out of the plane uh and all if right. i so there the fight is going down the front of the plane. By the time you get the shotgun and run all the way to the back of the plane, that's your turn. Yeah, I was going to just say that if you can, I'd like to more try to sneak rather than, even if that cuts my movement so I don't get as far, I'd like to be concealed from him. All right. I mean, you're you're in the plane, so yeah. No, one, no one's going to see you until you kind of come out of the plane, okay. out of that entrance and turn around. Okay, that's my, what he's doing. So that's my turn. Next and it's not like the far back of the plane either. You, if you knew the, well, the door, like, yeah. The door of the plane is. Yeah. I'm not on the initiative thingy anymore. Because you moved or deleted your token. I don't think I deleted it, but I rolled a six. Yeah, it's, your token's not there anymore. <laughs> There's oh, one well, here. One here. I don't know how I deleted it. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm just, just, she had a six. Oh uh, yeah, I was like, I should go before dawn. Yeah, well, you would have had I known that. Yeah, you... it's fine. It's a lot to keep track of during it, uh, combat. You know what? If I I have control over her token, so I accidentally must have deleted you when I deleted the red dots. Sorry, I will stop playing with the map. <laughs> um, all right. it wasn't me. <laughs> we'll, we'll just say yeah. So we'll go. We'll go back and have. What was Tiffany doing this? Uh, Tiffany wants to double check if I can actually hit him with my gun. You know, the one in front and center. He is actually too close to the plane for you to get a a shot on with the machine gun. Audrat. But you have the car and the Arab. Yeah. Well, the car is down the road and, like, around a corner, so... Okay. I mean, she, if she tried to shoot the car, she would essentially have to take out first the corner of a building. That would be a problem. They would get mad at me. Ghost town. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I um, start increasing, like, getting the plane ready and make sure I have my, my gun and that it's loaded? <clears throat> I'm going to have you make a piloting check. And this okay. is basically you doing like the, you know, trying to speed through the pre-flight. 
We'll we'll add one one to it. Did it roll? Yeah, you got four. Yeah. Perfect. And I'll see. All right. So yeah, the plane, the engines of the plane start up. You're getting everything ready to go. Um, <laughs> and now there's Zhang and McCoy in the bar. Okay, so we've heard the shots easily, multiple shots. Yeah. Uh, and have the guys gotten into the bar or not? You know, there are two guys with shotguns who have come into the bar. Well, if I have the Tommy, uh, well, Which well, you well do. They, yeah. <laughs> Hell, if I can do the full auto, I will, but that, they're close enough together that you could strafe them if you want. Yeah. To. Okay. I, I, it's like it was one of those things, it's like I didn't know. Yeah, I'll do the full auto strafe. Uh, so that's what a, the total mods are going to be. What a the full auto grants a one, and then the strafe is a negative two. Okay. Well, if you're hitting more than one target, yes. And I'll throw in a style just to even everything out. Yep. So okay. All right, both of the goons take some damage. Okay, let me know when I can go. Right yeah. now. Sorry, you guys go at the same time. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Probably best to let the guy with the gun go first if, if the two yeah, start. Generally, if it's two PCs who are back to back, I let you guys decide what order you go in. No, all right, that's fine. Um, but yeah, Zheng, you're up next. Okay. Um, hmm, again with the violence. All I wanted was some tea. So um, he basically slides on over to the nearest one of the goons and proceeds to, um, you know, de introduce the butt of his shotgun very strongly against his chin. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! You know, that kind of thing. Sure. So let's see, let me find my. All right, that's assuming, of course, that dice let me. Yeah, yeah so you go up to the guy, you you know, hit the barrel of his shotgun, knocking the butt up into his face, and then another quick chop to the side of his head, and he is down. Okay. Does leave me open for the next guy. Yes. Now he has to choose whether to shoot at the guy with the submachine gun or shoot at the little Orient, the little Asian guy who just took down his buddy. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Tiffany, you're up next. Tiffany um, would like to... Oh, gosh. She would want to get this plane keeping getting it ready. If, if there's a horn, she would honk it. <laughs> Can you have a loud, uh, a loud noise maker have, in front of you. They have loud engines, which yeah. everyone I... in the bar has definitely heard those starting up. Yes. Yes. It, yes. Yeah. You're in the pilot seat, not the gunner seat, right now. So I am in the pilot seat, unfortunately, not the gunner seat. <sighs> also, why is Don in the initiative twice? Sad life. Um, I fixed it, but. I think uh, you might have me on a GM layer then or something, because uh, we don't see the other one. Oh. It's fine. I go on a three, so. Oh, okay. It's I know why, because it's on my token archive page, maybe, so it... Uh, yeah, that would explain it. So you probably don't see some of the bad guys either. No, I don't see any of the bad guys. All right. Well, okay. Do you want me to roll another pilot? I feel like the plane would be ready at this point. And yeah, it's the, plane, the plane's ready to go. It's just, you know, the engines are spiraled up. You're just kind of waiting. Is, that, is, is there a park for planes? Because I feel like, is there like blocks under the wheels behind it? Mm, if they're getting it ready to go, they wouldn't have put blocks. 
Yeah. Okay. Like, probably That's only when you're storing. Probably starting to move at this point. <laughs> Can she tell the fuel? Oh, the fuel is probably about the fuel line is probably very strained. It is about to pop. Oh, the... crud. I wasn't. Yeah, the... Um, could I say I wasn't retract that and say I didn't like move it yet, and I get the fuel line out? <laughs> Can that be my turn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie! Um, yeah, if you oh, that's kind of funny for our yeah. Di- yeah. <laughs> yeah, for this campaign, it would almost be funnier if you flew off with the fuel. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 uh, if comedy requests it, then I can. Well, because to disconnect the fuel line, you'd have to go outside the plane. Yeah, but yeah. Don is basically there. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, Don, I don't know if Don knows how to do that. I've got my all-purpose detaching machine right here. <laughs> 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 yeah, shoot the fuel line. Go for it. No. That's <laughs> a horrible idea. idea. Airplane <laughs> Either a very good idea or a very bad idea. So Welcome to character creation. Welcome to character creation, everyone. Yeah. Rockfall is <laughs> starting a new campaign. Away. Earlier today in my Star Wars game, the party did get their ship blown up. <laughs> yes. Oh. No. Like, What's that glow on the horizon? You have to make it to the escape pod by the end of this round, or your ship's gonna blow up. <laughs> yeah. This is like this is like the end of the first season of uh, Sledgehammer. Don't think I've seen it. Oh, it, basically the the final episode is Or Hero having to defuse the atomic bomb, huh. and the last <laughs> scene is this mushroom cloud, and that is the end of, of the season. All right, so oh, the goons or the show. Anyway, go ahead. I, I guess I'm gonna have to put put a pause on actually getting the plane completely ready and detach the fuel line. However, I do have a gun if there's any good shots between. Okay, me and so the if line. you're heading outside of the plane, uh, you um, you don't really have a good shot. And if you want to actually make it to the fuel line to get that detached, that's gonna take your whole turn. Yeah, let's do a line and then use your action to detach it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that then. Okay. And can I use the plane for cover whenever possible? Sure. Wonderful. All right. Uh, Goon is going to take a shot at Zhang with his shotgun and then fall back outside the bar. Mm. Because okay. he saw what happened to his mate. Okay. All right. And these goons don't have masks, right? It's just the guy outside? Correct. Ready? Just the same, man. Still trying to find my kid. There it is. But not like the kind. Of, well, maybe he does make you sleep. Whoops! I took two shots. Oh no! I was referring to the Sandman from DC Comics. He was this yes. plenty with the gas yeah. mask and the. I, I know they they put it in the movie, I believe, in the Hellboy movies, mm-hmm. and Sand comes out. Yeah. That's, yes, I mean, that's, yeah. that's from yeah. Stein, that's uh, Steiner oh. or Schneider or whatever the name of the damn character was. But yeah. Cronin. Cronin, that's it. Thank you. Carl Steiner is what I'm calling him in my yeah. in my game. Um, yeah. yeah, so I I guess I took two hot two shots. Okay. So hold on. Uh, yeah, you try to get out. out of the way, but it's a shotgun. Some of right. the bullets still hit. You. Some of the shells Got still it. hit you. Next up is the guy who's fighting Oliver. And he is going to spend two style points to negate the disadvantage of because he's targeting Oliver's weapon in a disarming maneuver. So, Oliver, you can roll defense. All right, I'm going to put a style point in. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> See, that's why I don't put style points in my rolls. We spent two style points to negate the disadvantage of targeting a weapon. Uh, yeah. Gun goes flying out of your hand. All right. Mm-hmm. And then here comes the second. His other hand comes up. Because he also did a, a total attack. Mm-hmm. 
Trevor, I keep getting messages from you about your style points. I think you're doing something wrong. Yeah, I'm not able to move them off of my little deck there. So. Okay. All right. Um, I'm sorry? Yeah, so he's coming around with a second attack. Because, obviously, if you're going to put arm blades on your on your undead assassin thing, you're going to give him two. All right. So defend against this one. Oh, jeez. All right, here goes my last style point. I'll just steal it from you. Thank you. All right. Oh, could I have a high roll this time, if you please? Ah, oh, jeez. No. All right. For my next character. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, there it is. He locks the gun out of your hand, and then he slices you across the chest. All right. How many is that? Uh, Looks like a negative... Two. Two damage from the second attack, and the first one just disarmed you. Oh, okay. So that's me at zero, then. So then make a willpower roll to stay conscious, if you wish. Yep. All right. <laughs> willpower roll. And you I saw that, too. Oliver West is not having a good day, gentlemen and ladies. Yeah. No. You know... It seems like my campaigns do the same thing every week. Like, one week you all got in fights with organized crime, even though this was the only campaign where it made sense to do so. <laughs> and then my game last Monday, and then my first game today, the party had, you know, seemed like they were almost trying to get themselves killed. <laughs> we weren't trying to get ourselves killed. You were just doing a darn good job. Uh, all right. So, Don, you're at the door to the plane. You probably see Oliver get cut down and this guy is still advancing. He doesn't can, even say anything if he does it. He just I, retracts his arm blades and continues. Can I jump down uh, some uh, kind of ground level? And he's advancing towards me? Yeah, he's like he's trying to board the plane. He's coming toward the ladder. Alright. I'm just gonna lift the shotgun and try some of this. And I'm gonna shoot with three style points. Okay. Okay, it's a four lethal weapon. Um, yes, so I have... Uh, your firearms four. plus four. Plus three more. <laughs> yeah, plus... Firearms plus seven. Um, so I've got a McCoy's already in my character sheet. Oh, okay. Four lethal, oh. so I'll... Because from last time I never took it off. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Don fires the shotgun. Jesus. Just, you know, that's what the president told him. Got a shotgun. Got a double-barreled shotgun. No? No one's seen that video? Nope. Nope. Google Biden buy a shotgun after this. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. He was giving a speech on gun control, and they basically, like, recut it into a music into a music video. Maybe I have seen this. Was this a uh, oh, Never mind. It sounds amusing. Put it this way, the actor who co-stars with Biden in this is the guy, is the villain from the Flash musical episode. <laughs> if, you, if you watch the Flash, you might recognize I don't remember the musical episode. It, was, it wasn't good. But That's I, probably why I don't they remember really it. They generally aren't. <laughs> but I'm like, where have I seen that guy before? And I Google him, like, oh, he played the music meister on the Flash musical episode. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. That sounds Ow. awful. Yeah. The whole video, the, the Biden video, though, is hilarious. All right. All right. So, All right. so what is the you, effect of the shot? You shoot. Uh, his defense is. Um, he takes a. F he takes blast right in the face. He reaches up and he pulls off the wreckage of this gas mask he was wearing. Um, he doesn't have much in the way of a... I mean, he has, like, a face, but it's, like, desiccated, like, dry and corpse-like, and, like, parts of it are flaking off from where the shotgun shells hit. Don is gonna just, like, gasp and, like... Tiffany! <laughs> I don't know why he's calling for me! 
<laughs> well, <Mommy>. you're, <laughs> you're you're gonna be able to figure out what this is. I'm doesn't believe in like superstition stuff, and this is not real. All right, Bing and McCoy, you guys are both kind of up at the same time. Yep. You wanna you wanna try to take a shot at the guy who's left no you're or... you're right there so okay all right <laughs> and then I, I will sidle on up and proceed to uh Me shot you take, there, yeah. have him take a dirt, dirt nap so mm, come on dice roller don't fail me now I've been treating you like crap the dice roller here. failed him <laughs> right. it has to be in a little better. In the voice stuff. That's a little better. One better than before. Well, there's yeah. this recurring joke I have with my other friends that the best thing ever would be to have dueling narrators of Bob Saget from How I Met Your Mother and Ron Howard from Arrested Development. Oh, dear God. <laughs> it's totally going to become a that, thing. But, it didn't become a thing. Yeah, it totally became a thing. thing. Yes, oh God. <laughs> That's about as bad as having Morgan Freeman and, and Samuel Jackson doing uh, competing <laughs> narratives. Yeah. yeah. So it didn't become a thing. Motherfucker, it did. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> um, oh. So yeah, Zhang comes up, he you know, does his ninja thing and manages to drop the guy. Like he goes down to sweep, sweeps the leg, and as the guy's coming down right in the neck. Yep. Axe, axe kick right in the face. Pack. It's like sweep, right. and then as he's falling down, you come up with your uh, chop right to the neck. He okay. he's down. Good. He, he way out of the bar is clear. Mm hmm. McCoy. Okay. Uh, I run out. How far is the the play? Well, the mechanical man to where I'm at. It's like because I'm. Don't know if I'm. Close it's not far, to... but it's pretty much got the plane between you and him at this point. Oh, okay. So, uh, okay. Like, uh, if you exit the bar, you see Oliver lying on the ground unconscious, and you haven't seen the mechanical guy yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, if I see uh, Ollie uh, down, and if I can reach him, uh, you can. If I have. An action I'll, I'll try to do for state on him because I, you know, it's. Yeah. I'll say you can get to him and do first aid if you want to. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. I don't have first aid, so uh, well, I guess you I. You can let me do it because yeah. I'm the one with medicine. Okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> go, go take care of the thing. Yeah. And fortunately, well, he wasn't hit with a boilet, bullet, so we sh should be good. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I'll just break out the needle and thread and sew him back up. Well, it sounds like I don't know where the mechanical man is. Or, yeah, well, if you go to Oliver, you can kind of see him. Plus, I'm shouting. I mean, yeah. well, it is. You yeah. would head towards the plane, and, and yeah. you would definitely see what's yeah. going on. You probably get there just in time to see him rip the gas mask off after taking the shotgun blast to the face. Yeah. Now, like I said, it's like if if I can't take a shot, I won't. If I do, and it might be out of ammo too, because yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if I can't do for Aiden, I can't do it. That's fine. That's fine. If I if all I'm doing is moving closer, you don't have a great shot of him. Like he's still got partial cover from the plane, but you can certainly try. Yeah, I take a single shot. So huh. you're probably just gonna apply the cover on his defense. Yep. Okay. Yeah, only three. Nope. Yeah. Bing. Damn, that's another scratch. <laughs> another dent on the plane. Or you could just say you missed because you didn't want to get it hit your plane. At this point, the Arab guy who's been waiting around the corner sees McCoy rushing out of the bar. Mm -hmm. He steps forward, draws a curved knife from inside his coat muttering in a language that none of you recognize he slashes the air in front of him oh no uh mccoy you can you can apply your passive defense to this uh 
I do have the Savvy Fighter palette. Mm. So would I not still have my... Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to say... Well, the question is, is it a passive defense because it's a surprise attack? Or because nope. it's something about power? It's a pa passive defense because he slashes the air and a slash mark appears on McCoy's body. Got even it. though McCoy is not in knife range. Right. So it's not because it's a surprise attack. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm looking up now to see what the actual text of Savvy Fighter is. It basically says I keep my full defense thunder in leagues. Yeah. Oh, certain circumstances. Well, or, you know what? You can spend your full defense. Only two. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah. Yum. So you basically hear the muttering. You turn and try to get out of the way. Uh, you fail, and the slash mark just opens up across your... Not that deep, but, like, the entire length of your torso. Well, yeah. Four is my total health, so... <laughs> it's, it's a pretty decent one, yeah. Well, then. Yeah. You are stunned and taken out. Yeah. I'm... It's whether or not I fall unconscious. No, I do not fall unconscious, but I am stunned. Because it puts me right at zero. All right. It's sort of like the look of shock. It's like, what the hell? Tiffany is up next. Yeah, Tiffany wants to get over back to the door and um, see how close is is the trooper, trooper, troopy guy. Sandman. He is right outside the door. Okay, can I roll like a per perception mechanics engineering roll to see where do I want to shoot this guy? Where would be his weak spot? Oh, sure. Yeah, let's let you try it. I don't know what I would roll for that. Actually, thing. no, no, you can't. Um, for I the can't. simple reason of you don't notice any mechanical parts on him. <laughs> He's a squishy. Okay, can I, I did have my gun on my person, I believe. The door of the airport is very narrow, so it'd be hard for you and Don to both be shooting through it. I jumped down, though. Oh, okay. You yeah, I'm on, I'm on the runway. I'm oh, I, thought Becca was, yeah, I thought Becca was, I thought Becca was detached the fuel. I did. Oh, so, okay. You're outside the plane, yeah, so you have, you can definitely take a shot. Yeah. I would like to take a shot, please. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I suck at this. We're going to add two style points because I'm so bad at this. <laughs> My last two bullets. Okay. And I do my... shot once this turn. Sorry, what was that? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, shot once. All right, you hit him. He's he's looking pretty rough. Like you shoot at him, and again, a burst of dust. It, it's almost like sand, but it's like his flesh is dr dry and desiccated to the point where it's hard to tell if it's even sand or if he's just. How dare he pique my curiosity so while trying to kill me? <laughs> All right. Goons are, goons are out of the fight. Mm -hmm. All right. Assassin's turn. Assassin's turn. Do 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 or uh, Don, Tiffany, and I'm going to say McCoy as well because he's con he is conscious and he, he would be in the gas mask come off. What are you rolling? I'm, hold on. I'm about to tell you. I'm going to need each of you. Actually, 
Yeah, each of you are going to need to make... Uh, you don't need to do anything. And I'm throwing a style, his, his last style point into this. All right, so if you roll more, more success than the opponent's willpower. So if your willpower is less than three, you have a negative two penalty for a number of turns. So if your willpower is two, you have a negative, you have a negative two penalty on your next turn. If your willpower is only one, then you have the penalty for two turns. So yes, Don, on your next turn, you have a negative two penalty to whatever you do. Okay. Basically, as he rips off the gas mask and you see this horrible corpse, like desiccated corpse face, he lets out a scream, his jaw opening wider than a, a human jaw should be able to. That's, That's always hinged. <laughs> Style point for you for that one. That was good. That amused me. <laughs> All right, Oliver is up next. You can. Oh, Oliver's out. I'm gonna play oh. dead. Oh, well, oh, you can try to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dawn is up next. <laughs> Tiffany, tell me what this thing is. I'm gonna check the break. The check the break in the shotgun. I still have a shot left, right? Yeah. So I yeah, click it yeah. shut, raise it, and try to shoot again. And I'll use one style point to offset um, my penalty, so I only have a so minus covered, one. So your penalty is reduced to it. Yeah, it's reduced to a minus one. Okay, so what about two? Okay, kablam! Uh, totally a miss. <laughs> it's a two. Um, can I back away from the entrance? And draw my pistol? Yes. Okay. I, will, I don't own to be in striking range. So the uh, how far am I from the uh, Arabian-looking person with the knife? You are close enough to him that you could get to him and attack. In okay, melee. I'm disarming him. Okay. So if I recall correctly, it's a brawl minus two. Yes. And I will go ahead and spend style points for this. Like a fool, because I thought these all roll like crap. Okay, so I will basically um, negate the penalty by spending the two, the two style points. I, uh, and I don't roll. think he has the Please, I swear to God, this dice. Ah. Uh, so what is his, his he he rolls his defense. Yep, and I'm gonna roll to see because his defense is an odd number. So I'm just he's taking the average. I'm just trying to see if it's high or low, low end of average. Yeah. Did everyone get disadvantage for multiple rounds? Or that nope. Zhang was not within range of the, <sighs> the the fear attack. Yeah. Because I don't even know what's going on over there. Yep. McCoy, oh, you're, you're you're down, but you're conscious if you want to do something. Well, I'm stunned for this turn. Well, wait, did, did I actually knock the, the knife off? Nope, he rolled a three ab on his average. So. Okay. Do you have to meet or beat? I think you have to exceed. I'm looking. I'm looking. If you roll less than equal to the number of successes, your character fails to disarm him. So, yeah, I needed to roll above. Yeah, I, I thought you had to exceed. No. Yeah. And if he had a two handed, he has a plus two or so. Yeah, but. I'm assuming it's it's a knife, so it would have been only one yeah. hand. But it doesn't matter because I rolled like crap. Yeah. And I'm stunned this turn, so. Okay. Well, so, then, next up we have the bad guy. Mm -hmm. And he is coming in. Um, he is coming at Jing with the knife. Mm -hmm. Not so you can use your full doing the spell, but just 
right okay. not doing it supernaturally you're okay you're close enough, he's just gonna stab you hey it's a good thing i took that unarmed parry <laughs> so so i can just roll my block <laughs> Nice. Yeah, so he comes in with the knife. You basically kind of do like the karate kid thing where it's like, yeah, just 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 to redirect the the uh, the yeah. thrust, the the slash, so it doesn't it doesn't hit me. Yep. And Tiffany is up next. Tiffany yells back at Dawn. What the heck am I supposed to know? I just see it for the first time too, and I still cannot, I assume, roll any. Uh, Perception, engineering. Nothing. Correct. As far as you can tell, there's nothing mechanical on this thing for you to evaluate with your engineering. I shoot again with the minus two. <laughs> okay. Yep. This is going to be really. When in really doubt, cool. bullets. Bullets. <laughs> Even if it's out of. Oh gosh. How do I do? My, just minus? Minus two? Yeah, minus two. Just yeah. you hit, click the modifier oh, thing. So bad. I'm going to roll like a zero on this. Oh, oh, that's very good. Good. That, that's you, still, that? you, you still missed. And the oh, gun wow. away from the plane, mm -hmm. this thing basically is climbing up into the plane. No passengers. Uh, can I continue to follow after him? Because I don't want him to. Yeah. On your turn, you can. Yeah. Um. Oliver, you are still playing dead. Sure, sure. Don. Um, so it's climbing aboard the plane at this point. It is. Can I run up kind of behind it and with my nineteen eleven just try to unload on it from behind? Uh, so what? You're doing like a total attack? Um, if I can, I'm not entirely sure the yeah, rule sets. You do a total attack, it just it gives you a bonus, but you give up your your active defense next turn. Okay, I will do that. Okay. So, so I, I believe you have points, two but... bonus to your attack. Okay. And the penalty is gone. You've already it's already been applied, so you're just at a plus two. Um mm -hmm. quick question. So in my character sheet it's three L for my Colt. But the mod is six. Is that from firearms? Huh. So my McCoy's thing wasn't updated. I should have had two dice. Control of your character sheet to see. Should I exit out? Three L. Uh, I'm assuming you the mod is six because you put your firearm score in there. Yeah. So that means my McCoy sawed off. I hadn't updated that. Oops. So I don't normally put anything in the mod spot, but. So it should be 3L plus your firearms, which is 6. So yeah, you're rolling 9 with a plus 2 okay. bonus. Okay. So uh, McCoy's should have been at 2 more dice, but uh, say Libby. So, so just... John board the plane following this guy. He sees him in the gunner's bay as he's picking up the satchel from the hidden spot. Don comes up. Bam, bam. Like, like that scene in Agent Carter where she's just unloading... He turns after the first shot. They hit him head, chest, chest. He goes down. And I basically, know. his body just instantly decomposes into sand and dust. Even the mechanical parts that I did not see? <laughs> I mean, a, the trench coat with like huge tears in the sleeves from where he deployed his arm blades is there. The fedora is there. The clothes he was wearing, the arm blades themselves, but anything that was him is not there. Uh, so hmm. Don is just like oh. frozen, gun extended. Like I imagine the slides locked back. He's out of bullets, and he just kind of turns yeah, and looks behind. Yeah, he's still firing like <laughs> click, click, click. He went after this thing is disintegrated. Zheng is up next. Just a quick question. Is uh, Samuel in the... the, the did he go to like, the back of the plane or something? Far back of the plane. Kind of cowering? He is like... Don just turns around with his eyes super wide and it's just like, what was that? Whatever it is, it's dead now. Yeah. Uh, Zheng is up next. 
Okay. Well, he tried to stab me with the knife, so obviously I need to make him go to sleep. So. No, dear. So, I shall endeavor to make him hurt. Okay. All right, I'm going to roll to see if he takes the higher low end of his defense. Mm -hmm. So it's average, but... Yeah, yeah. All right. He takes some damage. Mm-hmm. Uh... Next up is McCoy. Uh, does the guy look like he's about ready to drop? Or well, it's it's whether or not I take a shot with the Tommy or not of a, a single uh, shot with Uncle Zhang. Yeah. If the guy is fighting Zhang, it's it's hard to tell. He doesn't seem like he's he's taking a hit, but it seems like he's still in this fight. Uh, if you Shoot, you do run the risk of hitting Zhang. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take it, take the shot. That's like, I cry out a warning before I shoot. It's like, duck! And... Sweep the leg. Yeah. Sweep the leg. <laughs> and take the shot. Oh, my gosh. Four. Ta -ta 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 -ta. So just that. <laughs> so he takes, he takes, he takes a bullet. Uh, he is not down. Mm -hmm. Um, however, he is. So if he's stunned, he can't take an action. He can just move. Is that correct? Uh, he correct. He, he can. He can still defend. And, but he can't act. He can't move. He can't do anything. Oh, he can't move either. Okay. Yes, yeah, stun, stun your your yeah. You basically lost lost your turn. Well, yeah. Then he's. I mean, he's stunned. He. Yeah. Right. You can still defend, but you can't. Yeah, you can't. All right. Act. So, can't do any so he's doing nothing this turn. Tiffany. Um. Can I call into the plane? Is he still in there? Like, right outside. I don't yeah. know. He's dead. <laughs> do you have the Do you have the artifact? Yes. Can I get to at this point? Can I get to um, Trevor's characters? Yes. Can I get to him and do some medicine on him? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's go do that. That seems. Thank you. Like yeah. a yeah. <laughs> uh, Trevor, you recover one lethal wound and convert one to non-lethal. All right. And it's your turn if you're wanting to do anything. Um, who do we actually have up in the enemies? Just the Arab guy, right? Yep. Okay. Um, how far away is he from me? Do I? Have, I can't really get a clear shot. Probably can. Also, don't you don't have your gun. Well, I have. I actually, I have two if guns. He, if, oh, if okay. wants, oh, if he wants my gun, he can have mine. <laughs> so, let me put this. Let me put it this way: Do, Is Jang was still attacking the Arab guy, right? right? Okay. Yes. I'm gonna move and get inside the plane. Okay. You are on the plane, Don. Don is going Earl's to come. Kind of lean down into the gunnery pit, pick up a, a scoop of, what is this, sand or ash, or what is it? Ew. Yeah, it's sand or dust, you know. It goes like, through your fingers. Just like... Yeah, I think, you think he, what, what was that? <laughs> I don't know, partner, but I'm glad it's dead. Get, get the plane going. We gotta go. I'm giving everyone a style point because you guys have been still role playing throughout the combat, and the GM this pleases the GM. Uncle Jack. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna need it. Uh, it is time for you to. It is time for you to uh, uh, accept 
the inevitability of your of your defeat. Must and then up. I kick him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like roundhouse to the face. Uh, yeah. So then, yeah, just do it, that spinning sidekick. Sure. So he, so he truly does suffer the agony of defeat. <laughs> the the feet. Not with that roll. But I'm oh Jesus Christ! Dice roller. Nice. I have not rolled more than one over my average the whole freaking night. All right. Uh, no, so uh, I guess not. You have you have a move if you want to use it. Um. Sure. I will. I will backflip out of the way, assuming that somebody's got to take a shot at him. Okay. McCoy. Yeah, I'm going full out. It's like, I want him dead. All right. You're, uh, you're, you're taking this way off personally, aren't you? <laughs> Magic blade knife thing. <laughs> so, total attack, just using the Tommy, you know, till it runs out because it's basically, yeah. All right. So, yeah. Heat, uh, heat hot American lead. So, so plus two bonus for total attack, plus one for auto fire. Plus one style, so plus four. four. <laughs> Can you, like, annihilate It better make him mince meat. And Six. the car, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if it explodes, you know, it's it's all in the day's work. I'm throwing his style points into this. Bastard. Just because... <laughs> yeah. I want to live. So again, I we're just to live. The average. We're just trying. To, I'm just trying to determine the higher low end of his average. Oh dear God! Uh, he goes down. Doobie do down down. Kala kala. Yeah, he takes a few bullets, and basically, since this turns next, he's bringing up his knife. He takes a few bullets, and lurches backwards. Uh, is all right. he down? So we are out of turn order now, since everyone is down. Okay. What is everyone doing? Um, getting the hell out of Dodge. I, get to if the we're not, I, I, I I get, back, get the hell out of Vegas. I want to go check the inside of the plane, because there was gunshots, and I do want to, you know, make sure that she's okay. Uh, well, you saw this connect the fuel line. There are some bullet holes, like one in the back of the pilot's chair, like nothing that's damaged any any key systems. There's some there's some cosmetic damage from Don's barrage that continued after the guy had ceased it's to a, be. It's a shame I wasn't better at home economics; otherwise, I could sew this. So yeah, Sheng Sheng and um, uh, well, actually. Jeez. Um, I was just going to say we could help uh, Ollie up, but Ollie's on the plane. Ollie is down yeah, too. So it's, yeah. yeah. No one's not okay, on the plane so. or Zhang and McCoy. And they're both conscious. Okay, I will help McCoy since I know oh, McCoy. No, that's was... like, yeah, it's like before you, you uh, it's like, oh, wait, I have something to be certain. I pull out my revolver and just <laughs> hit it hard. You know, it's like, <laughs> Don't waste your bullets, partner. All right, you shoot it. You shoot the guy who is down in the heart. Yeah, yeah he, he 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 did. He did. He, yeah, there, there is no need. There is no need for further violence. Did you um, see what he did? I will. I will. I will worry about applying medicine to him once he's in the plane. Okay. So I will help him onto the. Plane. All right. So I'll say everyone is on the plane. Need N never. You know, stopped people from doing it anyways, or a lack thereof, at least. As soon as people get in the plane, I'm going to go. Did you see what that was? Did you see this? And you're pointing down to um, the gunnery pit. Somebody would like to make a piloting check to try to get yeah. the plane out of here. I guess Tiffany's yeah. the one who's able. On yeah, this, I'm going to uh... say either Tiffany or Ollie, because McCoy is not in a condition where he should be flying the plane. Right. Um, Honestly, neither is all. <laughs> my pilot total was yeah. a five. What's yours, Oliver? Ollie. I believe it's a. Hold on one second here. Pilot so, is five. Okay, so, so can I just look at this? Is the other? Yeah. I'll do it with a bonus. 
Um, okay. Plus what is and a bonus? Two. Plus, whoops, that's minus two. Um, yeah, let's make that a three, just because, you know, okay. I have the extra point. You get, the, you get the plane in the air. And are, where are you guys heading? Georgia. I was planning to head back to um, uh, our home base because, you okay. know, I don't know where this sure. guy is from, but he'd be stranger on our plane. So. Yeah. And do you think Hoover could take care of guys like that? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm going to do this just just cinematically. Your characters don't know this. Lying in the dust outside a saloon, this, this Arab-looking guy wakes up <gasps> with a gasp. Moments later, maybe he cannot die. <laughs> he wakes up with a gasp and begins... Not dead, cannot die or something. He holds the... Uh, he reaches into his shirt, holds the ankh around his neck and begins muttering in a language you do not understand, And even if you were there. Mm -hmm. um, your characters don't know any of this, but again, but, just cinematically so the players can picture it. As the plane is flying, the clouds darken and thunder begins to come. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, <laughs> this week. Oh, thunder. Um, everyone gets participation point, mm -hmm. danger point, mm -hmm. role playing point. Mm -hmm. I'm also giving you a success point. You made it out of that alive with the with the artifact. Yeah. Is this in, in uh, case it's important? In case it's important, I did roll a three on the medicine, so McCoy gets back a lethal wound and turns one into non lethal. Yes, McCoy, please heal yourself because it may be important. I'm going to assume yeah. we are not at base camp to be able to spend experience at this point. Um, I'm going to say because you guys are still going to be in a, a you're not We're in not combat, but free. you're ending on a cliffhanger. I'm going to say no spending right now. That's okay. what I thought. If I don't have to pilot at any point, I'm going to start working on blueprints for my bag. Okay. Well, I'm co-piloting, right? Oliver's co-piloting, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you could do that while I'm flying. Yeah. Well, oh, that or it's like once I get healed, I probably could. Oh, okay. Got to drive too. Yeah. So you guys are on the plane, like, Actually, and the storm has just come out of nowhere. Strong wind buffeting the plane, rain coming down. Uh, I, you can hear you can hear the rain hit. Okay. And he just froze okay. up. <laughs> yeah. He is frozen. He's up. Yeah, but I had the same problem I had. Yeah. Are you still with us? Got him. There he is. Call in Mongo. Come in, Mongo. He's frozen. Mr. Map Room. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, oh, you are. froze when you were talking. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So we. Sorry, I was like wondering, like who froze? I was trying to look, and if you don't yeah, know, you did. Frozen, <laughs> 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 and everyone's um, frozen. Yeah. So as I said, the. The wind is just intense. You hear the rain just hitting the plane, both from the front and basically all along the length of the plane across the top. You hear the crack of thunder in the distance, and you see the flash of the lightning. And next week, we'll pick up with you guys trying to fly through the storm. This, yeah, baby. This, I, still storm have, is, I still have... Out of... Not unseasonable for Las Vegas. I still have PTSD from like the first time I flew in our campaign. I just have PTSD <laughs> from the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see it now. Whenever we want to really mess Don up, we'll put a little pile of uh, of, of sand next to his bed when he wakes up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please keep your hands and arms and all the rest of you inside the plane, Don. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that was a great session. Uh, it's Alrighty. a you guys haven't gone full BA Baracus at this point, where you're just afraid to get on the plane. <laughs> She's too pretty. Yeah. Oh, dear God. Alrighty. Uh <laughs>